The two players in the SEC will be crucial for the success of their team in the 2024 season. So the two that I've picked are, first of all, let's go with uh, Brock Vandegrift. So obviously he is a highly anticipated transfer up at uh, Kentucky. I think there's a lot of opti uh, optimism swirling around uh, him coming on the scene there. Um, and, you know, there's there's a lot of questions there in, in Lexington. And so I think a lot of people are looking to him. They're like, you know, you're this highly recruited player. Uh, we landed you. Now what's going to happen? <laughs> you know, um, so we'll kind of see what happens there. He, he you know, did great in, uh, you know, the situations he came in with Georgia. Uh, but obviously this is this is his show. It's, it's going to be, you know, his to. His to win or lose, I suppose, up there. So excited to see. Um, I, I do hope um, that good things happen for him. Obviously, um, not when they play Georgia, but uh, otherwise, um, you know, hoping for good things from him. Um, you know, if he does well and like really just like pops off, all the Georgia fans are gonna be like, how could we let him go? <laughs> yeah, it's just hard to argue with the, the situation now. Maybe past scenarios where we've had... Uh, which, which is, you know, in retrospect, we, we could do a whole podcast on that. You know, the, the quarterback controversies at Georgia and the history yeah. over the years. But uh, ain't nobody got time for that. That's not what say. No, exactly. ain't nobody got time for all that. So, yeah, we'll it see. Is, it is going to be interesting to see how he fits into <clears throat> into that system in Kentucky. I'm trying to remember who's who is Kentucky's top receiving threat. Can you all think of who that is right now? Um, so I'm I'm racking the brain here, and so it looks like they're up. hoping for big things out of Dane Key at wide receiver, mm -hmm. but that's really the main name that's been uh, has been mentioned, and also uh, Demonte uh, Chip uh, Trey. I'm going to mispronounce this Trey Anum, uh at running back. So um, okay. Um, oh, never, so there is another one. So Dane Key is one key one, no pun intended there. But uh, Barry and Brown is another wide receiver. So, mm. to your to your question, you know, so Barry and Brown and Dane Key are going to be okay. Who they're looking there? Best of luck so, to them. Yeah, so we'll see how that that system works out. They, they have a new offensive coordinator in uh, Bush Hamden from Boise State. So, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. A lot of a lot of turnover there. Um, and then the second player that I picked was uh, Raheem Rocket Sanders because you know he's coming into South Carolina. Uh, a lot of things to replace there at South Carolina. I believe that uh, a lot of pressure is going to be put on that running back uh, position uh, because, you know, they, they've got a freshman, a redshirt freshman, L Lenora Sellers, as the uh, starting quarterback, as what Beamer's <clears throat> gone with. Um, and uh, they do have other options. And they, you know, if you all recall, Robbie Ashford from Auburn and uh, redshirt senior Luke Doty is there as well. But my point is, is that there's going to be a lot of pressure, I think, on the running back position because they're going to really need uh, that running game to free up things on the offensive side of the ball. Because I think if they're counting on the quarterback, they they may kind of be in trouble in that scenario. So that's the two I got. I think you're going to see uh, this is the success of Kentucky and South Carolina kind of pivot around those those two key players.